Since 2009, Couples Foundation International has been on a successful mission to enriching marriages and educating couples with the aim to encourage marriage and discourage divorce in South Africa and globally. This year, the 10th Annual Marriage Conference will be held at Sun City once again, where the CFI will also be celebrating its 14th anniversary since it was launched, and the plan is to host 4,000 married couples. Singles are welcome to attend. Hosted by Pastor L.L. Holele and Dr. K. Mashishi, attendees can look forward to hearing transforming teachings on different topics about marriage and relationships from some of the world's top faith-based teachers. The conference will also include various exciting programs such as Warriors for Men, a Happy Wives Cafe talk show for wives, Kids Corner Talk, and a Pastors and Leaders Marriage Session. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I trust that you are superbly marvelous on this Thursday evening, the 2nd of November, 2023. My God, my God, there has never been a day like this one. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how was your morning. I am not sure how was your, you know, your day. Oh, and yes. I'm not sure how is your evening going. But I'm telling you, I am excited another side because this day is a very, very special day for us, you know, as Advo and Dr. K. Yes, my Baba, do you want to say something to the people? Ah, the, the, the good Lord, the Lord in the midst of us is mighty. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's Amen. the son of righteousness, rising with healing in his wings. That's right. And where you feel sick, he will heal you. That's right. He will restore That's you right. because he is God. Yes. Ah, in Jesus' name. So I'm excited that um you know he has given us yes. um the days of our lives that's that, that right. there's a chorus like that do you remember it the days of my life my goodness so we thank the lord even for the days and the decades that he has given us in marriage yes. people yes. in jesus name we thank him for the tribe and 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 uh, the, the village that he has made us to become yes um, I, I i was alone one day but hey, hoo -ha, um dr k then I, it became the two of us and hoo -ha, now it's the four of us yes and i'm waiting for my grandchildren i'm praying <laughs> for them in the name of jesus Hallelujah. let them come forth uh, yes. um, in marriage in jesus that's name right. in marriage. That's Lord right. Virga, that's right. we shall increase expand and multiply yes Glory be to God. yes so we just want to appreciate all of you that are joining us here on couples foundation facebook page this mm. is a home where we encourage marriage and we discourage divorce because we believe that there is nothing that is too hard for mm. you for the lord even what you could be going through as a couple there is nothing too hard for the nothing lord it is only when we submit our marriages to the Lordship of Jesus mm. Christ. So, yes, yeah, so I'm saying hi, hi, hi to our YouTubers. And there, the other side, we also appreciate you to Thy Kingdom Radio listeners. Mm. Um, I see Muriti Isaacs is here in the house. We appreciate all of you. I see Pastor Jackson and Marco. I think it's for the very first time, sir, that we see you on our program. We welcome let, you. Let, let me just help. And them. we appreciate you. If, if you, you want her to see your name, say hello. Say hi. <laughs> So that we are able to see your name and yes. call you and greet you by your name. Yes, yes sorry, Dr. and thank Kate. you so much for for wishing us well mm. on our twenty first um, anniversary. So it so is much. such a blessing. I mean, this morning our daughter last night prayed, prayed mm. for us. Oh, yes. Wisdom send us prayers. You mm. know, it is heartwarming when your children, yes. you know, pray for you. Um, call the blessing mm. of God upon you and just release a blessing. Yeah. You know, so we are truly grateful, Muruti Silvester. Then Gwenya family, Moye family, we see you. Um, Tusi family, we see you. Um, Metabita, we appreciate you and we see you. Yes. Glory be to so God. today, like I said, My we've goodness. got very, 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 very special, special guests, you know, in, in, in our midst. And I, I, will, I will say something about them. Mm. But is it okay that we should let them in? But remember to share. Share the broadcast. Remind a friend send a text to say to somebody it is happening at cfi facebook page it is thursday it is mm -hmm. thursday and without wasting any time um let's appreciate and welcome we call him daddy okay. <laughs> and mom yes. apostle dr dl tetra and prophetess mg tetra in the house <laughs> 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 
Amen. But congratulations once again to both of you on your 21st wedding anniversary. It's so important and so refreshing to also understand that in biblical numerology and interpretation of scriptures, the number 21 speaks about entrance into perfect rest. You are coming into perfect rest, which brings in blessings, which brings in victory, which brings in completeness. You have sure. arrived at that time where God is just elevating you and promoting you. Mm. So I'm going to ask my dear wife to pray for you and release that blessing as you come mm. into this entrance into perfect rest rest my god blessed be the name of the lord we know all starts with god yes in god and mm. for god Amen. lord as this couple has been dedicating themselves mm. unto the work of their high calling yes. in the lord jesus christ we pray that the rest of the lord will penetrate in them Amen. lord Every person will acknowledge thus far the Lord has been with them, Amen. for them. Amen. We don't know what the future is holding, but we thank you that you are ahead of them. Mm. I mm. pray the blood of Jesus over them. Hallelujah. I pray the grace of God Hallelujah. over them. I speak life and the life in abundance upon them. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, as they are resting in thee. Jesus. 21 years coming together. Jesus. Thus far, the Lord has been good Amen. to them. Thank you that your blood are in their veins. Yes. Lord, we pray that no demonic force, no mm. powers of darkness, no agenda of the enemy yes. will mess their marriage up. We in speak the name of Jesus. to the powers that might be Kola that the blood of Jesus cover this couple with their generation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for life. You, Lord. Lord, many never made it, but we thank you that thus far you have been faithful. Thank you, Lord. Pray, Lord, that you will lead them. You will guide them. Thank you, you Jesus. will sustain them. Hallelujah. You will uphold them. You will yes. fight for them. Lord, mm. with, and with you your Lord. presence, yes. your yes. presence of God that's making us yes. whole. We speak the blessings oh, of God over their lives the that make a breach and add Jesus. no sorrow. We pray, Lord, Thank that, Lord. that there is no form of darkness, oh, there is no imagination of hell. Oh, Lord, that will challenge this marriage, mm. that it will scatter as they stand together under the umbrella of that there no. shall be no thank divorce. You, Lord, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we magnify your name. And we declare so it shall be. Thy word says there is death and life in our tongues. We speak life. And we have confidence in the that we are talking about. And we thank you, Lord, for goodness and mercy. Thank you, Lord. My all the days of their life Thank you, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. Um, we 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 are grateful to the Lord that we have you as parents and as a covering over our lives. We know that there is a mom and a dad. There is a father and a mama and a mother in Rustenburg praying for us as a family and praying for our ministry. And we are truly grateful to the entire family of Shekinah Tabernacle mm -hmm. that when you embraced us, the whole family embraced us. Mm -hmm. And we are grateful to, we to are the grateful Lord. grateful to the Lord. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. amen. So, yeah. So, today, um, to all our viewers, we are in for it once again. So please do comment. You yes. can ask questions. We'll see if we'll have time to take questions. But yes. we always appreciate, you know, your participation on this platform. Yes. We always appreciate 
you setting the time yes. the, the, the time aside so let those likes and hugs go oh, yes. crazy oh, yes. come on somebody on facebook oh yeah yes so yes our mom and is here amen to 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 receive you know an impartation from the lord mm. concerning our marriages concerning what the lord is saying to us in this season um in our marriages in our families in our nation and we are just highly highly yes. um, mm. expectant highly expectant to hear the mm. lord speak um they don't need introduction they are senior pastors of shikana tabernacle go chabani go rastenberg here in south africa <laughs> and they also have Amen. another ministry in cape town in the western cape and we are grateful mm. to the lord mom and glory, dad glory be to god yes. amen and amen. amen i'm i'm highly appreciative of this one fact that we would not have reached sun city um the demons were standing and um i'm appreciative <laughs> that at least they know the voices of the tesla family and when they have prayed Hallelujah. now go to sun city anytime um, without problems, but our first time crossing Rustin oh, Lord Jesus. was a huge problem. A and tonight, I'm telling you now, we've got a, 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 a what a yoke destroying, a burden removing. That's right. That's anointing right. in the house. That's right. I'm That's telling right. you now. Right. 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 In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Yeah, it, it, it's also interesting to note. And we appreciate the fact that we could be your guest tonight as you celebrate the 21st wedding anniversary. Amen. I, I checked Statistics South Africa now to just to give a synopsis on the stats. Presently, we're sitting at 18,208 divorces that has been processed and 40 percent of those marriages they are marriages that are under 10 years that not even reached 10th anniversary now here is what is painful 50.4 percent it's african marriages that are undergoing the divorce mm -hmm. 20.1% is our European brethren that are undergoing divorce. 17.6% is the colored community. 14.8% Indian and ancient community. And 2.7% is, you know, as you know now, the mixed marriages. Now, the stats is very serious. We need this platform to really echo the voice of God. Amen. And tonight we are going to try and in a nutshell and bring to the audience and bring to the viewers out there the plan and the purpose of God regarding marriage. That is why we celebrate you on your 21st anniversary. Amen. So Amen. we say may the Lord God Grant you the grace and the strength to continue in this journey. Amen. All Amen. things are going to be very important tonight as we celebrate you and by extension to all those that are out there celebrating their marriages. Mm -hmm. Marriage in four ways. It's a conformity and a reflection because marriage is an altar of God. In other words, marriage is an altar of God. So it is God who had an idea of marriage. It is not an altar of people. It's an altar of God. God came with that idea. In Genesis 2, Verse number 18, it is God that said, it is not good for a man to be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. 
It was God that came up with the concept of marriage. Now, therefore, our appeal tonight is that we need to go back to the initiator of marriage and find out why did he bring to humanity the concept of marriage? And I want to leave you with four points. Number one, so that marriage can conform and reflect the oneness of the Godhead. God wanted something, the machinery, the technology that can reflect his oneness. And marriage is that technology. Marriage is that concept that reflects the oneness of the Godhead. Jesus spoke profound words. And he said, I cannot do anything except I consult the Father. That is John 5, 30. Says, I don't seek my own will. I seek the will of the Father. So the Godhead, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God in three. The triune God operates in oneness. And for his concept to be realized, he has given us marriage. So that out of marriage, we can see the concept of God. So our marriages today needs to reflect and needs to conform to the oneness of of the Godhead. Number two, mm -hmm. marriage is a conformity and a reflection of Christ and his church. That relationship is very important. Now, Ephesians chapter 5, verse number 21, that's where we are starting. It says, up to 33, it says, submitting to one another in the fear mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. Verse 22 says, wives, Submit to your own husband as to the Lord. What is interesting is we cannot go to verse number 22 without consulting verse number 21. Submitting to one another in the fear of the Lord. So in other words, for us to bring the conformity that reflects Christ and the church, there must be submission. Number three, marriage is the conformity and the reflection of true worship. True worship is what Jesus spoke about in John chapter number four, verse number 24. He said, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So in marriage, there is a conformity and a reflection of true worship. True worship of God must be reflected by our marriages. How do we do that? Husbands, in marriage, your worship is sacrificed. You need to be that sacrificial offering. Sure. Why? In marriage, your worship is submission. You need to submit. So mm -hmm. that reflects true worship of God in marriage. Mm -hmm. So when God thought about marriage, he had that in mind. Number four, marriage is a conformity and a reflection of divine endowment divine deposit. Yeah. And how did that happen? Yeah. Firstly, God was looking for a kingdom of priesthood. And that's what he said to Moses. I'm looking for a kingdom of priesthood. Now Peter put it beautifully in First Peter chapter number 2 from verse number 9 to 12. It says, we are peculiar people. We are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. Now, in other words, 
conformity that reflect divine endowment in marriage then there should be priesthood priesthood is that which brings forth the spirit of prayer in marriage the priest was set forth to bring reconciliation between God and man. They were standing between God and man, between God and the nation. So as reconciliator, as mediator. So therefore, we need then to realize that our marriages must reflect and conform to kingdom priesthood. And number two, Conformity and reflection of divine endowments brings mm. to us the fulfillment of kingdom mandate, which is found in Genesis chapter number one, from verse number 26 to 28, which then means that in marriage, we then fulfill the kingdom mandate of procreation. Um. You shall be fruitful. You shall multiply, you shall replenish, you shall subdue the earth, and you shall dominate. That is the fulfillment of kingdom mandate. Now, that is conformity that reflects divine endowment in us, divine inheritance. Now, God has placed those four critical aspects so that he can bring to people the reflection of himself in marriage. Now, that says to me, that says to us, that marriage is for people that knows the Lord. If you don't know God, it's going to be a bumpy road, turbulence, because you get in marriage without having the mind of God. Mm -hmm. That is why our topic this evening is that marriage as an altar of God. Sure. Marriage as an altar of God. So if you don't know God, then your marriage becomes an altar of something else. Aye, come on, daddy. My God, mm, sure. Yeah. So therefore, we need to understand that what is an altar? Because when you say marriage as an altar of God, what is then an altar? So an altar is a place where the covenant is made and it is sustained. Wow. Now, marriage is an altar because in marriage, we make covenants, we make vows, we make oaths. Those oaths, we are supposed to sustain them. So we can only do that when we understand that in marriage, God is right there. Because Malachi chapter number two, verse number 14 to 16, Malachi chapter 2, verse number 14 to 16. It says, I am a witness in the covenant of marriage of your youth. So therefore, we need to understand then that an altar is a place where covenants are made and sustained. So when you enter into a covenant of marriage, you don't mm. enter there lightly. You enter with an understanding that this is an altar of God. So I need to understand the vows I'm making. I need yes. to understand the oaths I'm making so that I can sustain them by the help of the third witness, the third person of the triune God. Number two, an altar is a place of exchange. In an altar, we are therefore exchanging our status, 
if I enter into a marriage being a poor person and I marry my wife by virtue of marrying her being rich, I'm automatically going to come into that state. Mm. Here's what Jesus did. According to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse number 24, the Bible says, at the cross, Jesus personally carried our sins in his body so that he might die, we might die to sin and live for righteousness. We never had righteousness. Our own righteousness was a filthy leg before God. But because of a divine exchange, mm. he died for our sins. So mm. we have taken his righteousness. So there was an exchange. So the altar then is a place of exchange. Mm. When we come into an altar of marriage, there is an exchange. Mm. The Bible says to us, Genesis 2, 14, 2, Verse number 24, Genesis 2, 24. It says, then a man shall leave mm. his mother and his father, and mm. he will cleave mm. to his wife. That's and right. And the two shall become one. Yes. So in other words, there is a divine exchange. Mm. Yes. Me and my wife, we are one. Mm. He and Christ, we are one. Mm -hmm. He that is united to Christ is one spirit with the Lord. We are bone of his bones. We are flesh of his flesh. Mm -hmm. So there is a divine exchange. When you come into marriage, mm -hmm. remember that you are coming into a divine exchange. Number three, an altar is a place where humanity meets divinity. Mm. You meet divinity in marriage. Humanity meets divinity there. Genesis 12, verse number 7, it says, The Lord appeared to Abraham, and Abraham erected an altar right there. To the Lord that appeared to him. So at the altar is that place where humanity meets with divinity. That is why Malachi is very important to us when it says, I am the one who has been a witness sure, between you right. and your wife of the that's youth. Right. And that's why it right. says, I hate divorce, therefore. Sure because I was there as a witness. Now, if God is the third person in our marriage, a threefold cord is not easily broken. Yes. It's not easily broken. Mm -hmm. So, we know that one man with God is in the majority. Now, yes, if we are mm -hmm. two and God is the third person, that is why Mathematics cannot stand. It says one chase a thousand, but two, ten thousand. When we get into marriage, we are ten thousand better off. That's right. So mm -hmm. the oneness right there, humanity meets divinity in the altar of marriage. That is why, even if you are not a Christian, when you get to the home affairs, they say, place your hand on the Bible. Say, so help me God. You will lift up your hand and say, so help me God. Even if you don't know God. Because sure. they recognize by the conviction of the Holy Spirit that this is not their idea as the government. Mm -hmm. It's the idea of God. So you need to invoke the help of God. Yeah. Sure. Four, and I want to close with that. Mm -hmm. An altar... It's a place of sacrifice. Mm. Marriage as an altar of God. It's a place of sacrifice. Now, we're living in the times where the word sacrifice is taboo to the 21st century couples. Mm. They don't want to 
say anything about sacrifice. Everybody has got his own rights. So, they can easily and quickly just quit and get out of marriage. Mm -hmm. But without sacrifice, there is nothing that can stand. So in marriage, there must be sacrifice. To date, we are 36 years married. Woo! What Thank you, Jesus. Yes. yes. What has sustained our marriage mm. is sacrifice. Mm. Sacrifice. I know they use the concept compromise, mm. but the yeah. Bible used the word sacrifice. sacrifice. That's right. Mm. That's right. When you sacrifice in marriage, you invoke the presence of God. In mm. First Kings chapter number three, verse number four, it says Solomon sacrificed one thousand bulls. He gave them to the Lord as a burnt offering. It says that very same night, God mm. appeared and He said to him, "Ask what I will give you." When your marriage understands sacrifice, there shall always be an appearance of God in your situations. Because God honors sacrifices. They become a memorial before him. I came to challenge couples that for your marriage to continue, sir, you must sacrifice. For your marriage to continue blossoming, man, you must sacrifice. Amen. It's a place of sacrifice. Amen. Now, the Bible speaks very nicely and clearly on Psalm 50, verse number 5. It says, Gather to me those that will come to me by a covenant of sacrifice. So the covenant of marriage is a mm. covenant of Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Now, when we talk about the altar, on the altar there is the priesthood. On the altar there must be the sacrifice. sacrifice. On the altar there are covenants, vows. On the altar there are tokens. On the altar there are gates because the altar itself is a gate of heaven or mm. a gate of hell. It depends which yeah. gate do you open. That's right. Sure. My prayer this mm. evening is that you'll open the gate of heaven so that you can see the ministration of angels like Jacob saw them. Yes. Ascending and descending, mm. ministering unto your marriage. Mm. So, marriage is an altar of worship. It's a Man. place where you worship. So, your marriage must have the element of worship. From the kitchen to the bedroom, mm. everything about marriage is worship. I pray, therefore, that with these few words, we will be able to understand the concept of marriage mm -hmm. as an altar of God. That is foundational. And that is how it should be. May the good Lord bless you. Mm -hmm. Even as I will ask my dear wife just mm -hmm. to briefly pray for you out there before we take your questions so that your marriage should be as an altar altar of God. Yes, Lord. Remember, three things. An altar, we find what? The priesthood. And priesthood. the priesthood is that ladder. And that ladder is Jesus. Number two, on an altar we find the traffic. And the traffic is the angels descending and ascending. And number three, on an altar we find an opening, a gate, a portal. And the portal is either heaven. Jacob says in Genesis 28, this mm. is the gate of heaven. 
So if you are not connected to God, who is an altar of marriage, then your marriage is connected to somebody else. And the gate that will be open, I don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Heaven or hell. You can make your choice. And this evening, we can pray for your marriage as we celebrate the 21st wedding anniversary of the Holeless. You can bring your marriage before God and say, God, sanctify my marriage to be an altar for you to conform and reflect the oneness of the Godhead, to conform and reflect Christ and his church, to conform and reflect that wisdom of true worship, to conform mm. and reflect divine endowment, divine deposit. Over to you, Mami. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. We yes, you. Lord. The Lord that brought us that smile. Lord, we pray with confidence. Hallelujah. Our God is not dead. Jesus. We yes. thank you for the life in abundance. Jesus. We pray for marriages that you resurrect this night. We pray that any form of darkness yes. that is yes. oppressing and suppressing the marriages of Christians, mm. Lord, it shall not be a disgrace. The blood of Jesus, the sanctification, Lord, they will bring forth a generation of God that represent the marriage that will be one day that Christ will fetch the, the bride in the name of Jesus. We pray because we have no other way than the way of Christ. Jesus. The giver of life, Thank you. the source of our hope, Thank you. the redeemer. And the present yes, powerful and so yes. of God. We yes. thank you as we pray that yes. our prayers are answered. Amen. Thank you. It Amen. comes from a heart oh, of sincerity. Oh, it comes Lord. from a heart that we know that it is God that answers prayer. Amen. And it is God that can do what no man Jesus. can do. Bless the Holy Lass. Bless, oh God, Hallelujah. their ministry. Yes. Bless them with the blessings that make it rich and end no sorrow. Thank you. Lord, I declare and I decree Hallelujah. against the work that they are doing. Today we declare null and void. Rose and we thank fire. you, Jesus, the part of Jesus. Hallelujah. The mercies of God Hallelujah. and the intervention of the great I am, and I say amen and amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. Can I see those likes and hearts go crazy? Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What a word. My God, my God. What a teaching. What a revelation. What a perspective. Perspective. Lord, we are grateful. Hey, yeah. Dr. Dikhan Ari shook. I know it like you are shook. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Right. Let, let, me, let me inspire them Bless to you. ask questions. Let me inspire them to ask questions. Yes. Um, Daddy, they, they, and, and mom, there they, is this, uh, um, you know, the sequence in the scripture. I see that, um, you know, uh, Jacob gets to see the ladder. And after the ladder, he meets his beloved, Rachel. Yes. And uh, where does Rachel miss it yes. with these household gods of her father? Why, why can't she just catch on with the anointing of the one who loves her? You know, and, and, and you know, the, 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 the vision um, of, 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 of the ladder, the angels going up and down, he is caucused about in marriage and, and the household gods of the father are left behind when they leave. Why, why can't just she forsake those things and, and, and just, just, you know, cling on to the anointing of the one who loves it? Where, where does she fail with this? All right. Okay. Here is where she failed. And it was not her fault. It was the fault of Jacob. Mm. Because in Genesis chapter number 28, Jacob says, 
God is in this place and I did not know. Okay. So Jacob left Bethel without a full understanding uh -huh. of the altar of God. Uh -huh. When he was at Haran, so God said to him, go back to Bethel. So it was when he was supposed to go back to Bethel mm -hmm. that he started to tell the people now, sanctify yourself because we are going there. But you will remember that he then met up with God on the way. Mm -hmm. That being that he held on and he said, unless you bless me, that's where the revelation of Jacob came from. So um, that being that he met is the same being that he could have held right there in Genesis 28. So the blessing was right there, but hey. Jacob postponed the blessing. He says, hey. I will go. When I come back, it's only then. You see? Hey. So that is how he missed it. He did not have a full revelation of hey. God. Who mm. met him right there at the place called like. that he called it there. So, but when mm. he came back for the second time, he came with a full revelation and he said, Get rid of the gods. We are going back to Bethel, mm. to the house of our God now. Oh, all right. Nice. Nice. Wow. Yes, yeah. um, I still don't see questions, but I think fr from, right. my, from my side, you know, Daddy, you just mentioned that, you know, the husband should be the sacrifice. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and I think we as wives, we see submission as sacrifice, you know. Well, that's what he that's said also. Yeah. Oh, good. okay. I, I, I miss that, you know, but, but I think sometimes, you, you know, I don't think that our husbands, you know, understand <laughs> the high calling that that the word enlightens them to Christ who sacrificed his life for the church. Mm -hmm. You know, because it looks like then the submission takes the upper hand than the sacrifice. Because according to me, I, I don't sound <laughs> controversial, I hope. Sacrifice came first and then the submission of the church when they understood what Christ has done hey. for them. So I'm just saying that to say, Ibo, you know, sometimes we feel like, can you really understand what God has called you to? <laughs> help us, Daddy, help us. In Jesus' okay. name, help us. That, 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 here, here is the point. That our, 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 our fourth point is that an altar is a place of sacrifice. So in other words, at the place of sacrifice, it means, therefore, that both of us needs to come to a place where we understand that we mm -hmm. are building an altar of God. You are not building an altar of Holele. You are building an right. altar of God. Awesome. So an altar is a place of sacrifice. That covenant of marriage is a covenant of sacrifice, according to Psalms 50, verse number 5. Mm. Call, gather unto me people that will come to me on the covenant of sacrifice. Now, that is where it is important. Now, when you look at the altar, which is the reflection of the Godhead, God the Father is sovereign. God the Son is a sacrifice. God the Holy Spirit is the seal. You see? Now that triangular is formed in that way. So that is why then the Bible says, husbands, you need to sacrifice. Wives, you need to submit. Because submission is a sacrifice. Because it calls for worship. Now, 1 Peter chapter number 3. Verse number four and five, it says, you should remember the example of holy women. And it mentions Sarah. It says, yes. Sarah called Abraham Lord. 
So how many of our wives are calling us Lord? I call you Oh, you call me that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> Uh, they did this one is the revelation. The revelation. It's right there <laughs> in the scriptures. <laughs> and 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 there we go. We are calling this kind of with with sweets with fruits um, names and all that. You know, my my punky yes, pie. <laughs> that is the problem. The fruits can get rotten. <laughs> that is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It gets off. It gets off. Uh, uh, let, let, let's read it quickly. Let's read it quickly. First Peter, chapter, chapter number three. Yes, sir. First Peter, chapter number three, and we start there from verse number five. It says, "For in this manner, in former times, the holy women." who trusted in God also adorned themselves, being submissive to their own husbands, as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters you are, if you yeah. do good and are not afraid with any terror. Now, verse number seven is important. Husbands, Likewise, dwell with them with understanding, giving honor to the wife as to the weaker vessels as been hers together of the grace of life, that your prayers, priesthood, may not be hindered. So, dear family, here is what is important also. Genesis 2, verse number 24. It says, A man shall leave his father and mother. He will be joined to his wife. You see? He will cleave to his wife. Mm -hmm. And then, they will become one. Now, that is why then, your ministry is profound and is very important. This is a program of God. Because marriage is an altar of God. It's a problem of God. Why? Because the perfection in our marriage is in the becoming. Mm -hmm. So we are not perfect. We are 36 years married, mm -hmm. sure. but we are not perfect. We are becoming. Mm -hmm. Every day when we wake up in the morning, when we hold our hands together, when we worship the Lord, when we pray for each other, there is a becoming. Mm -hmm. Until the great day of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, when we will see him face to face. And the Bible says, the redemption of this body will then be perfected. Mm -hmm. But as long as we are on this earth, we need this program of God. That reminds us that marriage is an altar of God. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's helping us every Thursday we remind ourselves that we need to work on becoming yeah. sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Wow. Glory wow, be wow, to God. Wow. Hallelujah. Somebody. Yes, yes, Amen. yes. yes. Amen. We love it. I love Amen. It. Yes. Amen. No, mm. thank you, Daddy and Mom. Um, we are almost about mm. to close, but I think let me just remind all of us mm. to say we are going to Sun City on the first and the second of December in in how in 29 days. Mm. In 29 days, my peeps, oh, we are in God Sun City. Almighty. Make sure mm. that you grab your tickets from Compute Ticket. And let's all make our way to Sun City. It is just going to be awesome. Don't miss this one. The other day, people don't take me serious. I told you, don't tell me you're not coming to Sun City because you don't have money. And people are not coming and they say they don't have money. But I told you, don't tell me you're not coming because you don't have money. You know, talk to me. So I don't know why people mm. think it's too good to be true. Um, what yeah. Dr. K is saying. But we are grateful to the Lord. 
um, to all the pastors and the leaders, we have our own corner there in Sun City on Friday between 12 o'clock and half past three, four o'clock. We are just going to talk about issues that talk to us as the, as the church leadership. Oh, so yes. make sure that you register, make sure that you come to all the senior pastors. I humble myself, do register for all the deacons and the elders in the church because this is for them this is for us so it Amen. will be good to see you there please do come yes and remember happy wives cafe talk show we are going to booga booga and have our thing there as the girls um when our hubbies are the other side doing warriors and um, it's just going to be amazing here in awesome. warriors all the male speakers are going to be part of the panel it's just going to be amazing. Awesome. You Amen. cannot afford um, to miss this one. And I just want to appreciate all the church she's that partnered with us. Um, we started this campaign during the month of October and we are continuing as we speak. We are also grateful to the family that has sponsored Couples Foundation International with buses. So they oh. are free. Yes, they did a free transportation for Gauteng, for Northwest, for Pumalanga, mm. for Limpopo, Thank but you. you still need to register, okay? To everybody who hasn't registered, make sure that you register. But because the offer came during this month of October, you will leave very early, come to Sun City and leave. So you'll only attend the one day's conference. Unless you say, we as a bus of Limpopo, we want to attend two days, we will organize our transport, our, our accommodation. So we'll just tell transport, fetch them Friday, deliver them Sunday. Mm. So on our site, we are flexible with how you want the transportation to be done. Only mm. if you all agree on the accommodation. So if you, you say, Dr. K is late, we are not able to sort out accommodation. The buses will ferry you Sunday, Saturday morning and take you back late in the evening mm -hmm. on Saturday. So we are grateful to this family that has requested to be anonymous and we shall honor that. There is buses also that come, should go to Western Cape and Eastern Cape and, and, and KwaZulu Natal. All provinces we've been given buses, mm -hmm. you know. Oh so, but my then, word. Yes, yes. So we are grateful to the Lord for that. And thank you so much to everybody that is helping to coordinate this partnership with the churches. Mm. Thank you so much for your time, for the sacrifice to encourage people to say, pay, pay, pay. You know, so yes, we are grateful to the Lord. And this coming Saturday, we are in Midrand with Professor, Professor Lezani and Mam um, at Midrand Protea Hotel. We are having couples brunch. It's going to be awesome. awesome. Make sure mm -hmm. that you are there. And on the 11th of November, we are in Middleback. We are grateful to the Lord, like I said, for an open door in Mpumalanga. We oh. can't wait to see what the Lord is going to do. Um, oh, yes, God. it's just going to be oh, glory, amazing. Glory, glory. amazing. So make sure that you get into the bus. Don't tell me you don't have transport. <laughs> I just told you there is free transportation. <laughs> <laughs> yes but let's make sure that we just follow all the procedures so that there is order you know in, in the logistics that we'll put together for everybody to be oh. transported to some mm. city god is standing for his altar god is standing for his altar <laughs> oh glory to god oh. 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 glory glory Amen. I'm, I'm appreciative um to my wife of 21 years um to have um administered this this vision properly i'm 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 a highly appreciative um let us hand over um to daddy and mom to release a blessing okay and um, this is where um the church stands up so i don't know what you're gonna do in your house okay and <laughs> um, this is where the, the church lifts up its head it, its hands and and receives the blessing yes, okay yes. Um, let us receive the blessing Amen. and this is the one, the mountain removing blessing. Amen. Just receive it Hallelujah. and for the longevity of your marriage in Jesus' name. Yes. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' and name. All the viewers of this program, Jesus' and name. And those that will view it after this, Jesus' name. May the Lord keep you in Jesus' name. 
May the face of the Lord shine upon you. In the name you. of Jesus. May the Lord deal with the affairs of your marriages through his favor. In Jesus through his name. grace. In Jesus' May name. the countenance of God be lifted up in the direction of your family. In Jesus' your name. Your marriage, your workplace. Jesus' mm -hmm. name. Even this endeavor, this program of God. Jesus' mm -hmm. name. May the shalom of God rest mm -hmm. upon marriage. In Jesus' name. But there shall be nothing missing. In Jesus but there name. shall be nothing lacking. In but Jesus there shall name. be nothing broken. In Jesus' mm -hmm. name. We decree and we declare in Jesus' that name. from henceforth, mm. as the holiness of entered, Jesus, the period of rest in Jesus' name, perfect rest in God. We decree that the anointing will flow in Jesus' and name, touch marriages in Jesus' name. The anointing mm. will break you. In the name the of Jesus. The anointing will lift up burdens. In Jesus' name. Therefore, we declare and we declare that from this day Jesus. forward, only mm. goodness and mercy Jesus. shall follow all the marriages. Jesus' name. And the marriages will dwell mm. in the presence of the Lord, the yes. originator of the concept of marriage. Mm. The deep altar Jesus. of marriage. Thank you, Daddy, that it is done in Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 Amen. hallelujah. Amen. Yes, um, we just Amen. want to appreciate everybody that also joined us today for the very first time. Mm. We trust that we will see you next week, Thursday, again, 7 o'clock till 8 o'clock. It is just going to be amazing. I saw mm. Apostle Ashley Estrada that he also had joined in. I'm not sure. Um, Papi, if you are still here, thank you so much for tuning in. But we appreciate you. Come, let's go to Sun City. It's going to be amazing. Um, to mm. mom and dad, we just want to say thank you so much. Um, thank you mm. for the love. Thank you for the father's embrace and for the mommy's embrace. To all our siblings there at Shekinah. Oh, yes. Hi. We you in Jesus' name. We yes. in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. So be blessed. It. If you haven't been to Sun City, you can just have a look here at one of our conferences. This was our 2022 Two. conference. 2022 Be blessed. We love you. See you this coming week. We love you. In Jesus' Perfect. name. Amen. Amen. Love you.